two months ago this one terabyte ssd cost around 4000 rupees today the same ssd is close to 15000 as you are seeing ram and ssd prices are shooting up everywhere but that's only the surface the real reason behind this prices spec has nothing to do with sellers buyers or gamers it's something much bigger happening globally which leads to the question everyone is afraid to ask when will this price return to normal or are we witnessing a new permanent reality now before we get into the real global reason behind this price explosion, let's talk about something closer to home because the impact in India has been even more brutal. India imports all of its RAM and SSDs. We don't have a large local DRAM or NAND products. So the moment global prices rise, that increase hits India immediately. On the top of that, RAM and SSD attracts 18% GST plus import duties, shipping and distributor and retailer margins. And all of this get added on top of the new higher global price. So a 50% global high can easily turn into something close to 100% jump at the retail level. Then there is the competition problem. With Micron shutting down its crucial consumer RAM and SSDs, India Lost is one of the strongest budget brands. Fewer player means less pressure to keep prices aggressive. Add low local inventory into the mix, Indian retailers don't sit on huge stockpiles. So cheap inventory sells out first, and the next batch lands at much higher prices. Put simply, global AI demand lights the fire, but India's import-heavy, high-tax, low-competition market pours petrol on it. All of this is just the amplification. To understand what actually started this fire in the first place, we need to zoom out, away from India, and to look at who is buying most of the world's RAM and SSDs. The main engine behind this global price surge is AI data centers. Today, most cloud and AI companies consume a huge share of world's memory supply, already well over a third of all the RAM produced, and that number keeps rising. Training and running AI models doesn't just need powerful GPUs. Each AI server is packed with high-density DDR5 and high-bandwidth memory, meaning a single AI rack can use many time more memory than a traditional server ever did. As a result, DRAM inventories have collapsed. What used to be the months of buffer stock has dropped to just weeks. Large data center buyers get priority access through long-term contracts, while smaller consumer markets are pushed into the expensive spot pricing. The same thing is happening on the storage side. AI workloads generate and train on massive data sets. So big AI model training companies are buying high-capacity enterprise SSDs and NAND in bulk. That squeezes supply for PCs, phones, and DIY builds. So AI data center explain why the demand exploded. But demand alone doesn't fully explain why the prices are staying this high. The next piece of the puzzle is about choice because memory manufacturers aren't just reacting to AI demand. They are actively redirecting production away from consumers and toward AI data centers where profits are higher and growth is guaranteed. Because here's the part most people misunderstood. The problem is not that the world suddenly run out of the RAM. The problem is memory manufacturers are not making more consumer RAM even though the demand exists. Companies like Samsung, SK, Hynix, and Micron have limited factory capacity. Instead of expanding out for PC and smartphone memories, they are redirecting more of that capacity toward high bandwidth memory or HBM. These products sell for much higher prices and are seeing explosive growth. So fewer chips are left for normal consumer RAM. We are already seeing real world proof. Micron, the parent company of Crucial, announced it will shut down its crucial consumer RAM and SSD lineup by early 2026. So this isn't a temporary shortage, it's a choice. And if it's a choice, the real question becomes, how long will consumer be stuck paying this premium or do prices ever truly normalize? Most forecasts suggest that RAM and SSD prices will stay elevated through at least mid-2026. AI demand is still growing faster than new supply. So meaningful price drops in the next 6 to 12 months are very unlikely. Looking further ahead, new factories and capacities expansions are planned, but they take time to come online. Some projects want that tight supply and higher than normal prices could continue well into 2027. And there are two main ways this could play out. In the software scenario, prices peak in 2025 and early 2026, then flatten and begin up gradual decline as new capacity ramps up. In the more extreme scenario, the AI boom continues until supply finally oversuits, causing a classic memory crash later, with prices dropping sharply once demand cools. Until one of these plays out, expensive RAM and SSDs are actually the new reality. And that brings us to the most important part of the video. How can we avoid overpaying right now? With the prices expected to stay high in 2026, the safest move is simple. If you know you need RAM or an SSD in the next 6 to 12 months, buying sooner is usually better than waiting. Don't aim for peak spec parts during this spike. Focus on good enough capacities. But if your system is still usable and you are planning a full platform change in a couple of years, you can wait for the AI cycle to cool down. And if you are in India, it's worth upgrading earlier if you are already planning a build. So that's how you can navigate this crazy RAM and SSD market without overpaying, at least for now. 
And if I find any genuinely good deals on RAM and SSDs, I will put the best buy links down below in the description box. I'm already actively tracking them. So check there before you buy anything. If this video helped you understand what's really going on, hit that like button, subscribe and turn on the notification so you won't miss any of my future videos. And tell me in the comments what prices you are seeing in your area. It will be helpful for everyone. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.